Hello friends, what's up? This is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are gonna learn about CSS colors and shadow. So now there are a couple of ways to that we can use colors in our projects and let me take you there and show you how to do that. So let me create a div tag with class name bin and let me add a heading tag h1 tag and write the class name oh sorry and let's write my heading speed academy you can write anything whatever you want to uh, whatever your heading you want to give you a web page and now let's just add a paragraph to it so guys uh you might have seen when you search for online website teams or templates demo version then you might find uh, that the paragraph is starting with the word lorem and so if you want to add an example uh, example of paragraph into your web page you can just write lorem and play and pre and and assign a numeric value to it so just after lorem place a numeric value and it will automatically edit the number of words of paragraph to your web page for now I, as I have used in the lorem 5 so it will add a 5 word of paragraph as you can see it automatically edit so after typing uh, let me show you once again if you uh, write lorem and I'm now I'm gonna type 15 and then just press enter so it will automatically edit the 15 word of paragraph to my web page so now let me show you an output first and then we will work on CSS colors as you can see it's a simple speed academy and with a paragraph associated with it so now let's move on to the styling part so i'm gonna target my class bin and so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the background color so uh let's choose in a background color something called yellow i guess sure let me show you first as you can see now my background color changes to yellow and now I want to change my uh, h1 color so I'm gonna target h1 over here and after just uh, that I'm going to write color and now I'm gonna use a different method to uh, to colorize my h1 tag so as you can see in our uh, in the bin class I have used the background color and I have written the name of the color so what else you can do is you can use the hex code hex color code value of a color so i'm going to use hex uh, 5 4 a 3 1 okay sorry 5 so you have to use either 6 uh, 3 value of hex code or 6 value of hex code so uh, 3 value generally used for primary colors such as they are black or white color or any colors which exist which color name exists in your uh, visual studio library and if you want to add a more specific color to your web page uh, or your text or anything then you can use the six six color code six color hex code and now let me show you an output first and then we will work move on to the third way of colorizing a text so we are it's taking time to load okay as you can see my now my speed academy color was changed to uh, something called green i guess i have chosen the green color over there okay now move on to the third way of colorizing a text so i'm going to target my paragraph over here and i'm going to color it so write the word color and just after that you can use the rgb property and you can see it uses three colors to color uh, to uh, code your color so what you can what you can do is simply place if you want to use color and you don't know the color value what you can do is you can just put this and in between this you have to put zero uh, comma zero comma zero sorry 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 guys zero comma zero and comma zero as you can see it it has a black color and now what else you can do you just have to take your cursor on it over it and it will automatically open up the panel in which you can select the color of your text so i'm gonna select blue color over here so let me show okay uh, 
again this color might be I'm gonna go on my web page so let's just open up a web page and you can see my paragraph color is changed to blue so let me so uh, increase the font size for you so it is easily visible for you all sorry for the family not for it's font size guys sorry for that size okay so i'm gonna use uh, 50 pixels similarly i'm going to create the font size of this to something 30 pixels i guess uh, let's show let me show an output first whether it's visible to you or not okay guys now the heading and the a paragraph is visible to us quite visible to us so now let's move on to the third way of colorizing our body tag or any class uh, any tag whichever whatever you want to take so i'm going to use the background property over here so now let's move on to the third way, uh, fourth way of colorizing your text so i'm going to use a, a linear gradient so linear gradient takes your three values first is your yeah if i write uh, something called red and comma orange now i'm not going to use this because uh, it might be uh, does not match my color of this whatever i choose so i'm going to use something called purple not like purple because i've used a blue color and i'm using red color i'm going to use okay we are working with red and orange only and I'm going to show you an example now so we can use any color okay all right why it is not working here orange huh so it is top to bottom by default it is it is top to bottom so as you can see now my top to bottom color was changed uh, it starts from the red color and faded to orange and you can see how beautiful it is looking you know so what else you can do is uh, you can just go over here and type just before the right color I'm going to type to right so now what it's gonna do is uh, it start from the left side and start fading towards the right side so let me show you an output first as you can see now red color is on our uh, left side and it started faded towards the right side and orange color appears on the right side so in this way you can use the three uh, four ways of colorizing your elements on your web page and now let's just move on to the text shadow shadows so i'm gonna uh, use the i'm gonna uh, specify the text shadow here so i'm gonna use text shadow uh, similarly there are also three or four ways of spec uh, specifying a tech uh, specifying a shadow to your text so i'm gonna use the uh spinning method which is good for you so uh here two pixels suggest the your vertical height of your shadow and next five pixel with uh fifth sorry i will use five pixel with uh a lot five pixel will give you the horizontal shadow and now let me show you first So as you can see over here, uh, I are open up now. Why it is taking too time to load? Oh, uh, it is looking blurry. Let me change the text. Uh, text of oh sorry, shadow color. I'm gonna change it to black. Sorry, black. Let me show you an output first. I don't know why my PC is lagging here. Oh, now the now the shadow is quite visible to you. So guys, in this way you can uh, use the uh, specify a shadow to your text and now let's move on to the box shadow. So if you want to uh, give a shadow to your divi uh, division tag, you can use the box shadow. It also uses three. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you want to, as you can see over here in my, let me show first. Uh, I forgot over here as you can see uh, the text uh, the shadow color is too harsh 
So if you want to uh, make it smooth, you can use over here uh, something it's called as uh, the that if you want to blur it, I'm gonna blur it for five pixels. So now you can see it costs uh, some. Uh, it is so smooth and looking. So in this way, you can use the box uh, shadows. So now let's just uh, do the same. I'm just copying this same because the box shadow will also use this uh, three properties over here. And I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to use the purple color over here. So let me show you now. As you can see now, my uh, box shadow is uh, 50 uh, five sorry five pixels uh, bottom or whatever I'm choosing to care uh, two pixel uh, vertical and five pixel uh, horizontally and it is blurred with five pixels and I have chosen the purple color to it so that's all in this video guys I hope you like this tutorial and do comment for more